Hello, space fans. Astronic here to talk about what is going on with Betelgeuse. You've heard the stories, myths, and gossip all over our star, and we're going to discuss what has been happening. But first off, what is Betelgeuse? Are you laughing at the way I pronounce Betelgeuse? Well, that's actually how it's pronounced. This is Betelgeuse. And this is Betelgeuse. We're going to talk about the former. Betelgeuse is a star that is 647 light years away from Earth. It is located in the constellation Orion the Hunter and appears as a bright yellowish star. Here is how it appeared in early February 2020. Born as a supermassive star millions of years ago, Betelgeuse is now nearing the end of its life and has expanded to become a red supergiant star. Soon, Betelgeuse will implode on itself and go supernova. Betelgeuse appears to undergo short periods of heavy mass loss and is a runaway star moving rapidly through space. When the core becomes so heavy that it can't stand up with its own gravitational force, the core collapses and a supernova occurs. What happens to us when Betelgeuse explodes? Well, luckily for us, Betelgeuse is far enough away that when it does go supernova, we won't experience any negative effects from it, like radiation. However, it will put on a spectacular light show that no one has ever seen. In October 2019, Betelgeuse began to dim noticeably, and by January 2020, its brightness had dropped by a factor of approximately 2.5 from a magnitude of 0.5. Villanova University astronomers Edward Gwynnon and Richard Wasatonic were the first to report Betelgeuse's recent dimming. Betelgeuse's temperature has dropped by 100 degrees Kelvin since September 2019, and its luminosity has dropped by nearly 25% in that same time frame. Despite all this buzz around this red supergiant, astronomers say it won't go supernova anytime soon. In fact, the dimming has stopped completely. It is now expected to slowly become brighter starting in February 2020. But why did it dim in the first place? The two scenarios astronomers are looking at are the cooling of the surface due to exceptional stellar activity, or dust ejection. Images taken show that the dust around Betelgeuse is emitting infrared light. This appears to happen when the material that makes up the star is spewed back into space. But what would happen if, and that's a big if, what if Betelgeuse did go supernova? We should see something similar of what happened to the Crab Nebula. But because Betelgeuse is so close to Earth, we will witness the entire show from beginning to end. It will become so bright in the night sky, it will outshine our own moon. It will also be visible in the daylight, being the second brightest object in our sky next to our sun. At peak brightness, Betelgeuse will shine approximately as brightly as 10 billion suns all packed together. By the time a couple of years have gone by, it will be too faint to be seen with the naked human eye. The reason the supernova remains so bright for the first three months or so isn't even from the explosion itself but rather from a combination of radioactive decays and the expanding gases in the supernova remnant. Well, I hope we've cleared something up here today, and you've learned some cool things about Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse isn't going to go supernova, but it was nice for the last few months to see all this buzz and to think that we could see something very spectacular in our near future. But, as the data shows, we may not see it for another 100,000 years. Until next time, be curious, be creative, and always look up.